Hello children, how are you all? Welcome to online edu classes. Today we are going to learn the second part of exponents and powers. Children, the fourth law is multiplying powers with the same exponent. Let us take an example 2 raised to the power of 3 into 3 raised to the power of 3. Understood children? Here the base are different but the exponents are same. So what is the base here? In the first power it is 2 and what is the base in the second power? It is 3. And what are the exponents? Exponents are same that is equal to 3. Now children, I can write 2 raised to the power as 2 into 2 into 2. Yes, into 3 raised to the power as 3 raised to the power of 3 as 3 into 3 into 3. Yes, now I am going to make sets of 2 and 3. That is 2 into 3 into 2 into 3 into 2 into 3. Is it clear? How many sets are there? There are 3. So I can write this as 2 into 3, the whole thing raised to the power of 3. Yes, but what is 2 into 3? 2 into 3 is equal to 6. 6 into 6 into 6. That is 6 raised to the power of 3. 6 raised to the power of 3. That means, children, when we multiply powers with the same exponent, that is when we multiply powers with the same exponent, we simply have to multiply the base. We simply have to multiply the base. Understood children? That means 2 into 3 is equal to 6 raised to the power of 3. Is it clear? So in general, for any non-zero integer a and b, where m is a whole number, we can write a raised to the power of m into b raised to the power of m is equal to a into b the whole power m or a into b can be written as a b the whole thing raised to the power of m. Is it clear children? Children, the fifth law of exponents is dividing the powers with the same exponents. Let us understand by taking an example that is 2 raised to the power of 4 divided by 3 raised to the power of 4. Here in both these powers the base are different but the exponents are same. Let us see. The base in this power is 2. And the base in this power is 3. But the exponents in both the powers are same. The exponents in both the powers are same. Yes, children, did you all understand? Yes. Now, children, I can write this 2 raised to the power of 4 divided by 3 raised to the power of 4 as 2 raised to the power of 4 by 3 raised to the power of 4. Yes, but 2 raised to the power of 4, I can write it as 2 multiplied to itself 4 times and 3 raised to the power of 4, I can write it as 3 multiplied to itself 4 times. Now children, I can write this in like this 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 into 2 by 3. Yes children, can I write like this? Yes. Now 2 by 3 is multiplied to itself how many times? It is multiplied to itself 4 times. So I can write like this 2 by 3 the whole thing raised to the power of 4. So in general for any non-zero integers a and b where m is a whole number we can write a raised to the power of m divided by b raised to the power of m is equal to a raised to the power of m by b raised to the power of m. This is equal to a by b, the whole thing raised to the power of m. Did you all understand children? Children, the sixth law is numbers with exponent 0. 
So let us understand by taking an example. 3 raised to the power of 4 by 3 raised to the power of 4. So here we can write 3 raised to the power of 4 as 3 multiplied by itself 4 times by 3 multiplied by itself 4 times. And we know children, whenever we divide any number by itself, we get 1. Okay, so we are getting 1. And the same thing we can write 3, div 3 raised to the power of 4 by 3 raised to the power of 4. I can write this as 3 raised to the power of 4 divided by 3 raised to the power of 4. And by the second law of exponents, we can write this as 3 raised to the power of 4 minus 4. And what is 4 minus 4? It is equal to 0. That means 3 raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Is it clear children? So in general, for any non-zero integer a, a raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Children, today we are going to learn the expanded form of numbers using exponents. For example, let us expand the number 42,563 in the decimal number system. We know children, the expanded form is given by 4 into 10,000 plus 2 into 1,000 plus 5 into 100 plus 6 into 10 plus 3 into 1. Now we are going to expand the same number that is 42,563 using exponents. For that children, we know that 10,000 can be written as 10 raised to the power of 4 since 10,000 is a product of 10 multiplied by itself 4 times. Understood children? Then 1,000 can be written as 10 raised to the power of 3 since 10 is multiplied to itself 3 times. Then 100 can be written as 10 raised to the power, power 2 since 100 is a product of 10 multiplied to itself 2 times and 10 can be written as 10 raised to the power of 1 since 10 is multiplied to itself only once. And now children, 1 can be written as 10 raised to the power of 0 since we know that by the law of exponents, by the law of exponents that any number raised to the power of 0, that any number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. By the law of exponents that any number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So the number 42,563 can be expanded in using exponents as 4 into 10 raised to the power of 4 plus 2 into 10 raised to the power of 3 plus 5 into 10 raised to the power of 2 plus 6 into 10 raised to the power of 1 plus 3 into 10 raised to the power of 0. Understood children? Children, now we are going to learn the standard form of large numbers. So standard form means we can write very large numbers in a very short form. Now what is a standard form we are going to learn now? Any number which can be expressed as a decimal number between 1.0 and 10.0 including 1.0 multiplied by a power of 10 is called the standard form of a number. Is it clear children? So in the first slide we were discussing about the mass of earth. We were discussing about the mass of earth. It was so huge, we were unable to read this number. We were unable to read this number. 
Now we can write this huge number in a very short and a concise manner. That is, after 5, we are going to put a decimal point and then write 976 and then we will count the number of digits after the decimal point. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we will just write into 10 raised to the power of 24 kilograms. That is the mass of earth is given by 5.976 into 10 raised to the power of 24 kilograms. In this way, we can write huge numbers in a very, very short manner. Is it clear, children? Thank you, children. Have a nice time.